Um, my name is Grant Wilcox. I'm a senior engineering geologist for Caltrans. I've been working here about 18 years, and I was here in '95 during the other slide. I was the, the staff geologist that was out in the middle of this site drilling in at that time. So I'm pretty intimate with the site. Uh, I, I think you're probably all a little curious about what happened in '95, and, and, and this is what happened in '95. We had about four foot of settlement. We had about four feet of, of settlement of the same piece of roadway, and that's what's starting to break apart now. And in 95, when we did this repair, this isn't a very good picture, because what you can't see at this one, about 400 feet of roadway here, is that there's nothing underneath here to support it. As you go this way, you get a large land mass that's out there. And this is hanging over the cliff. And, and what you see here, you have these blocks that started to break apart. And we were afraid at the time that, you know, there was that we would lose one whole block. I don't know if you remember 1980, you can see this, the roadway used to go right through here. We lost a whole lane in a catastrophic, we call it a catastrophic event when you have a sudden failure. And, and they fixed that in 80 and they moved the road in. And at that time, you know, they'd already been talking about the bypass because we knew this is an extremely complicated geologic stretch of coast. The landslide, it's landslide upon landslide upon landslide. It's a large landslide complex. I mean, it's known as Devil's Slide. But this one particular point, we didn't have any more room because you have rock fall above it. You can't quite cut, cut into the slope anymore. And you're about to lose this one piece. And you can't really build a bridge across active landslide because you don't have anything solid on either side. So the concept we came up with, and this was, it was at the time, it was, it was a, a stopgap measure to kind of tie it all together, tie all these blocks together so that if it did move, it would move as one piece. And that's what happened this time. And you're right, it's not moved as much, but we don't, it hasn't stopped yet. So we can't say, you know, what we can do. Um, but in answer to your question, it's a very good question. It, it's, but it's about 400 feet across, but I guess the problem, the problem I tried to describe before is that if you put your foundation on either side, the, well, first this slide, I wish I had a larger picture, this slide comes up here, comes back across, and then it parallels the roadway for about a thousand feet. So the, the whole slide, the, and this is the small slide, is, is approximately 1,300 feet across. And so you're dealing with a huge amount of material. But, if, but that's within a, a larger slide. We've recorded at least three movements at depth below this one. So if you, you know, spend all that money, if we were to come out here and build a bridge, you know, spend all this money, and then the bridge fails, I mean, you guys would be coming to us, you know, didn't you think about this before you built the bridge? I mean, it, it's, it's a very complicated situation. The geology is very complicated. This site has been giving people uh, fits since they built the railroad in the early 1900s. It's, it's uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's the coast, the California coast is, you know, continually mass wasting. It's a dynamic coast. And so what's here today, you know, if you can look at the old highway scar for Highway 1, do you, does anyone remember when Highway 1 went from San Francisco to Pacifica on the coast? Yep. You can't even see the roadway there anymore. There's hardly even a sky. I mean, that, it's such a dynamic coast that it's, it's difficult to, to engineer. But our engineering is better than it was 10 years ago, and I think um, we have some options. So, You know, this was originally called Devil's Slide. It's kind of a... Upside down angle, it makes me kind of seasick like in an airplane. <laughs> but um, the original Devil's Slide name came from this promontory point here, and there's like a, it's like a <coughs> surface, and it was just a kind of a nickname, it had nothing to do with landslide. But, but the original historic landslide goes all the way from that one big large saddle cut when you first come out and enter the coast from the south. You can see the scarp, the old scarp, and it's about 40 feet high. But it comes all the way around here, all the way across, and all the way down through here. And within that large landslide, we have four blocks, landslide blocks. Um, and the major one, that, the one that we're constantly dealing with, is, is a large slide. It comes right through, through here. It actually comes up. And this is, this is actually the rock fall that came down right here. And that's about 300 feet above the roadway. But there's a, we, we probably had about uh, 20 cubic yards break loose. Only three large rocks made it down to the road. But there's, 
most of it's sitting here in a large talus pile, just you know, ready to come down. And there's a previous, this is all alluvium, meaning loose rock, just sitting there. It's, it's also unstable, and there's fresh cracks behind the rock that really make us nervous, and we'd like to get down there and, and use, use, use our blasting to bring it down, and then we'll go down there by hand and scale it by hand, and we have a, we brought up a machine from LA called the Spider, which is a walking <coughs> tractor-mounted rig that can, that can climb up these slopes that we didn't have 10 years ago. But, but the slide itself that's affecting the roadway, it's just taking this little 400-foot piece, right, 400 piece right here, comes up the hill, goes back down and across the road, then it runs parallel to the road, for about a thousand feet and comes all the way down this nose to the coast. So you know, you're talking about a landslide that's you know this far across, about 1,200 feet across, all the way to the ocean, which is about 300 feet down below. So if you can imagine the amount of material you're talking about, 1,200 feet across by 300 foot high, and that's the small slide. So that's what you know. And we we look at it. We know in 1982 it dropped about six feet. We know in 1995 it dropped about four foot and stopped. But when you get out there and you look at this cliff, I can't guarantee that you know one of you isn't going to be driving on that and it's not going to give way. So we have to have some way that we can feel safe about opening this roadway up to the public. So we're you know we're doing all we can. I've had staff working straight since it's happened. Uh, you know, we have a, a blasting plan that's in place. We're just waiting for, you know, the right weather conditions, and, and we've got all the, the permitting issues taken care of, so that's going to proceed. Um, and then the investigation is, is you know, I, I had the staff out there all week, but, you know, we had a rock fall out of, this rock fall came out of here, down this rock chute here. We had a rock fall today uh, out of this, which we thought was somewhat stable, more stable. And we had rocks coming out of there, so you know I can't put my staff, you know, under an active rockfall site, you know, until until we know what's happening. What are those red lines and the yellow? Well, this is the location of the tunnel. That's so the future tunnel. The future tunnel. And it's, it's 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 almost below the. Slide. It's behind the slide. This is this is quite a large scale. It's quite a few hundred feet behind the slide. Right? The the old large slide right now. Yeah, this is a new aerial we just took uh, day before yesterday, but. This is the part of uh, the 400 feet of roadway that, that's coming down. You see where the, the head scarf comes up here, comes back down, comes along parallel the freeway. You can actually see how much it's dropped here next to the roadway, about three feet. Comes down here, comes along this cliff, and, and you can see it dropping down here. And we've had just, just a huge amount of fresh uh, mass wasting that's occurred down the slope. But this part of the roadway here, it, it's it's doesn't have as much mass as it does below here. There's nothing to hold it. This this rock here, you know, we just have it stitched together, uh, and it's so far it held together. It did like we planned in '95 that it would it would stay as one piece. And the rock fall protection that we put up in '95 has done well. We haven't had any rocks that came out of that area that we had all the rock fall problems in '95. But it's a dynamic dynamic uh, piece of coast.